refined technology prevailing in India are conventional which require lot of chemicals, energy, wastage of water and even the output quality is not up to the mark. Therefore, the result is water related diseases. Approximately 80% of diseases occur because of water. So, smart community water centers has taken an initiative and invented a technology under the leadership of Mr. Karunakara Reddy which purifies the water with no or low use of chemicals. Most of the things we are non-chemical company. We, we always focus no chemical or low chemical. So as much as you reduce the chemical usage, if it is really it is, there is no alternate and there is no affordable technology, but we try to completely remove the chemicals like even we don't use the chlorination for the disinfection of water because chlorine also have a byproduct like chloromine and chloromine is the cancer case nowadays in the country you can find so many people so many cancer diseases the technology comprises of ultra filtration nano filtration micro filtration which can clean any source of water available for the people sizing from 5000 to 50000 and even more Smart community water center designs are based on three factors. What kind of physical impurities are there in that particular source of the water? So physical impurities based on that we will have a pre-treatment. Then there is a chemical impurities like fluoride, arsenic, calcium, magnesium, more minerals and all these things. So somewhere even we found that okay, uranium, stanchium is there in the water. So that the second stage of the filtration will be what kind of chemical impurities are there and more chemi uh, the minerals are there, how to reduce that. Number third is a microbiological, there is a bacteria, virus, pyrogen, algae, all kind of this organic material is there. So we see physical, chemical as well as the uh, microbes, three different type of uh, parameters we consider into uh, the designing a plant. This technology is best suited for the developing countries and is a boon for the rural population.